Hello, in this video we're going to derive the mean and the variance of a chi distribution, not a chi squared, but a chi distribution. And let's jump right in. So a, a chi distribution is derived as the square root of a chi square distribution. And so if we let x be chi square with density this, and we know this integrates to 1, we let y equal the square root of of x, the positive root, which is actually called the principal root, uh, back solve for x, uh, take the derivative with respect to y, this is the Jacobian of the transformation, and then we stick in this x, which is y squared, wherever there's an x here, and we get this, times the Jacobian. Then we simplify, of course, this just, uh, this two cancels with one of those, leaving this. This comes straight down. The y and this y, they all combine into uh, y raised to n minus 1. And that's the density of a chi distribution. And since we this integrated to 1, then this, we know this does, because we could just back, uh, use the, the inverse transformation and go back to it, and it integrates to 1. So now let's drive the mean and the variance of a chi distribution. And the way we do it is, since we know this is a chi distribution that integrates to 1, we're then our goal is to try to make another chi distribution. And then whatever constants out front are, ends up being the mean. And I'll illustrate that. So here we want to find the expected value of y, which is... Uh, you know, y times the density integrated over all possible values. So we stick in a y here. That's where the plus 1 comes. There's, you know, it's n plus 1. Then um, if we had the right constants out here, then this would integrate to 1. And since these are constants with respect to the integral, we can take them out front. And then we divide and multiply by the appropriate constants. And the integral integrates to 1. And that's what we do. These come out front, and then we multiply and divide by the same constant. But then this creates another chi distribution, which integrates to 1. So this would, whatever's left over, which is this, is the mean. So now the, the 2's, they cancel to the square root of 2, and then the gamma functions just stay the same. There's no convenient way to reduce those. And that's the mean right there of a chi distribution. And we'll call that uh, mu1 for when we'll use that later in the variance. Now to derive the mean, or the variance I mean, we have to find the mean squared. And I guess uh, I forgot to use white out and, and then rewrite that, but that's y squared. And then so we stick in a y squared in in times of our density, and that's what the 2 is right there. So, and then we use the same approach. We take these constants out front, and then we multiply and divide by the appropriate constants to make it integrate to 1. And whatever is left over, which is this, ends up being the appropriate value. Now, the 2's, these 2's cancel down to just 2. And then we, the property of the gamma function, we can reduce that to n over 2 times gamma of n over 2. Well, then those cancel, and then this 2 and that 2 cancels, leaving just n. So the expected value of y squared is n. And then that makes the variance much easier, because the variance is the expected value of x squared. And I, probably should use y's. Actually, maybe that's why I scribbled that dark. These should be y's. And so the variance of our chi distribution is the expected value of uh, x squared minus the mean. Well, the expected value of the chi distribution squared is n. And then the mean we call mu1, and we have to square it. So this is the variance of a chi distribution. Well, that's all I have for today. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, please like it and subscribe so you don't miss the next one. Thanks. Bye.